Now I know that you know how expensive this device is. And you also may be aware of people being able to scratch this device up pretty easily. I want to take no chances with that. So as soon as I seen a good amount of people scratching up their devices, I jumped on Amazon and I purchased this Super Shield screen protector. This is a glass screen protector for $8. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's do this. Here it is, the gold iPhone 12 Pro Max, 512 gigabytes of pure sexiness. But I want to keep it sexy, so I gotta stop playing around and get this screen protector on the device ASAP. But this is Super Shields, and I actually really do love their screen protectors. This is the glass variant of their screen protectors. And yeah, this is how it came in the mail, cracked like that, but let's hope that the protector itself is not cracked. So let's go ahead and take a look at the package. You get two in this. So if you mess up, you can go ahead and have another try. Why not? So I'm going to open it up and let's go ahead and take a look at what they give you to install this screen protector. Here are some of the features that you'll get using the screen protector. Anti-fingerprint, ultra clear, real glass, extreme sensitive, a surface hardness of nine and oleophobic coating. On the back, they'll give you installation instructions. So this one's gonna be fairly easy. There's not much to it, but to do it. Registering is made easy. Go ahead, scan the QR code to get a lifetime warranty. Must be done within 14 days. So registering made easy. Here is the installation kit. Let's take a look at the screen protector. And although the packaging was cracked, the screen protector is actually intact. So we're good to go. Now let me go ahead and rip open the installation kit and you'll notice that it had a times two. So I'm assuming that everything in here is double. So inside of here, I get the microfiber cloth, the alcohol cleaning wipe, and then you get those dust remover stickers. Here are the alcohol prep pads. You have the two microfiber cloths and then they give you two of the dust remover stickers. This screen protector will also take away glare, so when I'm recording, I don't get all that on the screen. So I'm taking the microfiber cloth and just cleaning, wiping down the screen. I'm not going to go ahead and use the alcohol prep pads because I literally just took this out of the box. I'm actually working on my unboxing video as I'm doing this, so I'm kind of doing a twofer right now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure most of the dust and everything is off. And as I said earlier, this is a very easy one to install. All you need to do is peel this off and then make sure your placement is right. So get it to where it's right and it fits good. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So I see a few more dust spots on here. So just make sure you can get all of that off. Use the dust remover stickers if you need to. And then you're just gonna go ahead and line it up. Make sure you're not covering any of the front sensors while you're doing this. And just go ahead and place it on the screen. Okay, so it's doing this magic and I do see that I have a slight air bubble towards the bottom. So what I'm gonna wanna do is press that out towards the bottom and hopefully it'll fix itself. But if not, I can just pull up the entire screen protector and lay it back down. But what I do see is there's probably dust at the top where you see those little dots at the top. But for the purposes of this video, let me just continue and show you how it looks with the screen protector on. No more glare and I'm really liking that. Plus. I can use the screen. It doesn't actually get in the way of me using the screen like I'm supposed to be able to. So no worries there. So this is the Super Shields glass screen protector. And I like this protector because it does not leave fingerprints as well as there is no glare when using this. Here I'm showing you it's the next day. And in fact, I was able to get that bottom air bubble out. Now the top dots, those are actually dust particles on there. So I'll probably use a second screen protector to get things right. 
but also what I want to show you is if you are thinking of using a screen protector with the case, you are in good hands because it will not uh, pull up your screen protector. The screen protector doesn't go all the way to around the edges, so you should be good when using the case. I would recommend totally using the case with this device. Okay, so I had a change of heart and I decided to remove the first screen protector and put on the second one because of those little dust particles. And I wanted to show you guys one um, in better condition. So let me show you the second one that I put on. Well, that about does it for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.